Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit, one drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Hey, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. I love drawing people and um, sometimes people ask me, what if someone doesn't like it when you draw them? Or do you ask permission at all to draw someone? Um, well, for that second question, um, the answer is no, I, I really don't. I don't ask permission. And uh, the first question, most of the time, people don't even notice. So for example, this page, I just drew random people that I saw around when I was sitting somewhere in uh, a cafe. And I just started drawing and went from one person to another and everybody was really engaged in their conversations and drinking um, their drinks and eating their food and um, they really don't mind. And even if someone notices, most of the time they're kind of fine with it or they see you looking at them and they notice that but they don't really think anything about it. If I see that someone uh, feels a little bit uncomfortable, I just stop. So here's, for example, actually someone who was sitting at my table. This is a friend and I just started drawing. I don't even know, maybe I started with that, that glass over here and I started drawing her and I started drawing things around her. And when I started uh, drawing her glasses, she saw that I was drawing her and she got nervous. <laughs> so then I stopped. And I actually think it's kind of cool because she's now part of the foreground of the drawing. It's not like a super cool, the best drawing ever, but um, I think it worked out fine. And I kind of like the memory of sitting at the table with her and her being like a little bit nervous about me drawing her. So um, after that, we just ha had an engaged conversation instead of me staring at her, trying to draw her. And I got nervous too, actually, because I felt like I should really get this right. You know, if she's nervous about, th about this, I should really get her face right. So to just let, off, uh, let us both off the hook, I just, you know, moved on and um, uh, made a, a next drawing. So, um, also, you need to be a little bit smart about it. Here's another example of um, two girls that were sitting there chatting and they were really engaged in their own, uh, in their conversation and um, they didn't mind. They might have noticed, I don't know. The owner of the cafe actually noticed and she took a picture for her Instagram. So that's that's nice if that happens. Uh, but those girls, they didn't mind at all. Here's another uh, example of sitting at a table, just drawing the people in front of you quickly and then draw whatever is going on in the background. And that way there's no pressure on, a on anyone um, and still you can draw people and practice drawing people. And those people were in a kitchen and they were moving a lot. So that was a good practice. Also, you might want to consider being quick and not too detailed. So you're not like staring at someone and back at your page and staring at someone and back at your page again for like 15 minutes. You can do really quick lines as well. Um, so over here, it's, it's not really about the people, but I included the people that, are, that were there. And uh, it really gives an idea of what's going on. It was a kiosk and um, there was a guy standing just chatting with the, the person who was selling stuff in that kiosk. Um, same here, I didn't even include the faces. So that works too. Um, Again, be a little bit smart about what you draw and um, who you choose. If someone is really close by, it might be a little bit awkward. But if people are standing in the street just chatting, you can totally draw them. You know, you need to be quick because you never know when they will leave again. But that's, that's kind of the challenge. 
If you're nervous about getting their likeness, uh, getting people's likeness, then you can also consider doing just studies of their um, poses. Maybe add a little bit of shading, and that way you will be very quick in your drawing, and you will also capture the essence and capture the movements and the posture of people. So that's another idea if you want to start drawing people. Don't go for a lot of detail, but just try and capture the curve of their, um, of their uh, backs, the way their head is, you know, are they, are they a little bit slumped over or are they straight up? That really helps you to look at people and s just filter out all the details. You can always later on add details if you want to. Again, make sure that you um, choose the right people to draw. I, and by that I mean um, try to find people who are sitting, uh, chatting with each other, uh, they could actually be standing and chatting with each other, standing with their phone, looking at their phone, because then you know that they will be there for a few minutes at least. And also when they chat with each other, they might be moving uh, and move their hands, but um, they will be uh, repetitive movements, so you can get back at it again and again. Also, um, try to just play around with proportion. You don't need to... Um, draw a whole person, you can just draw a face or maybe even just a foot or a hand that really stands out to you. And if someone leaves in the middle of your drawing, that's fine. Just find someone else that is kind of in the same position. Finish your drawing. It doesn't have to be one person, especially if you are in a cafe or a coffee shop or maybe on the tram stop or the bus stop. People are leaving, moving, walking by, um, then you can also just consider to, you know, combine people. I combined a few customers here uh, because I wasn't quick enough. And that's fine. I mean, it's like uh, one customer's coat and then the other customer's shoes and maybe a combination of hair and the face and features and like that of uh, maybe altogether three customers or four even. So this is all about drawing on location, uh, drawing people who are actually there. And you might be a little bit nervous about that. You might feel a little bit intimidated because what if they notice? What if they come up with you? Well, first of all, they hardly ever notice because they're busy in their own world, in, in their conversation, uh, watching uh, whatever is happening on their smartphone, um, just in their own heads. And um, if they see you, they will probably think you are writing something down in your journal or something like that. However, there are people who notice it and then you just need to be smart about it and see if they are annoyed or get nervous about it. Just stop and go draw some, someone else. Um, sometimes you draw someone and they're fine with it. And then afterwards they come up with you. It almost never happens, but when it does, they're always very happy about it because, I mean, if someone draws you, it's kind of an honor, you know? Um, it's kind of a compliment. You were interesting enough to draw. So they often want to see the results and then you will be apologizing that it doesn't look like them. And they are like, no, it's fantastic. Every time this has happened to me that people came to me, they were like, this is so cool and um, I don't mind that it doesn't look like me. Why are you doing this? How are you doing this? I used to draw as well. And then a whole conversation comes up about drawing, sketching and the fun of making art. So uh, keep that in mind as well. People are very friendly about it and very, you know, it's, it's pretty cool to see an artist at work. So um, that's something to keep in mind if you want to draw on location. But if you're still a little bit scared to do so, but you do want to draw people, well, draw from the newspaper or from TV. Great excuse to watch a lot of Netflix shows and to try different art tools, study shadows, features and then also there's always 
the selfie. So I hope these tips help and um, I hope you will be drawing people because it's so much fun. It's a fantastic exercise, great practice, and you'll never know what kind of people you actually meet and what kind of conversations you will have through it. So have fun in your sketchbook. Take it out with you whenever you can. Start just drawing postures and poses and from there on go on and um, go into detail and be a little bit courageous and just do it. Have fun. Mm -hmm.